is an upsurge of interest in jazz in Durban, which definitely is something to celebrate. Karishma met up with a smoky voice diva who's helped set the ball rolling. He'll open up your mind to a beautiful new world. A vocalist equally comfortable in jazz, R&B and gospel, Natalie released her debut album in 2008. And since then, she's been heading for stardom as a recording artist and a live performer. Don't try to change us who he Jazz seems to be the sound of a bygone era. Miriam Makeba, Hugh Masekela, Abdullah Ibrahim are all legends of the South African jazz scene. Local jazz lovers have something to celebrate as a local Durban group are hard at work trying to revive the soulful, sultry sounds of jazz. Okay guys, thank you. I think that's cool. Thanks Melvin. Thanks, Thanks. for the passing cards. We're good. Hi, nice Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. What inspired this jazz revival? Well, you know, jazz used to be very big in the city of Durban about, I would say, 10 years ago. And as you know, Melvin and I are jazz musicians in the city. So we mm. felt that instead of complaining that there aren't many venues to play at, let's start something here. Hopefully this is the start of something really big in Durban. Uh, we're really hoping that this will be the new venue for jazz in Durban. Sometimes the things that you do, they make me giggle even the way... The walls are lined with a gallery of jazz greats and Natalie grew up listening to their music. Natalie, where and when was your passion for jazz first ignited? My dad used to be uh, the drummer and the founding member of a band called The Raiders, which was a very popular dance band. And believe it or not, he's more famous than I am. Because when you drive around, you hear The Raiders in people's cars. And I've always been told, oh, you're the daughter of Salva Rangan, The Raiders. And I said, yes. Yeah. So when I grew up, I listened to Spyro Jaira, Miles Davis, and a lot of the jazz giants. I didn't quite like it at that point because I was little and he used to take my TV time to watch these videos. But when I joined university and started studying it, it was instant love at first uh, sight and sound. Why jazz? Why not? <laughs> I think for me, jazz allows me to be the best me that I can be. It doesn't box you in into a specific sound, but allows you to experiment. And my personality is very much like that. I like transforming and uh, doing a lot of things, not just one. So jazz allows for that because, you know, the nature of the music is it's improvised music. Can you define South African jazz? South African jazz started in the 1890s even in Cape Town. And then you have Sophia Town and it being such a melting pot of cultures because it had all different cultures coming together to basically party. And Hugh Masekela, Miriam Makeba, Letembulu, all of those guys were the, the first founders of jazz. And since then, it has adopted other styles of music like pop and, uh, you know, even R&B into the styles. So South African jazz, I think, is, is improvised music in a South African way, but very influenced by the American classic jazz. Do you think that jazz is popular amongst the Indian community? When I first started in jazz, uh, the questions were, how is it that you sing jazz and you're Indian? And my answer was simply, well, why not? Because I grew up with this. So there's a very much a large community of Indian people that grew up listening to big band music and listening to jazz and that love it. But I don't think it's specific to uh, being Indian as it was being around other cultures and being around the music. A classically trained pianist, Melvin Peters has performed in Europe, the UK, USA and Australia with international and local stars. Melvin, you have performed all over the world. What keeps you here in South Africa? I think firstly, South Africa is very much home. And I've always felt the need to be here to build up the jazz scene, to make an impact, especially with our younger musicians. What inspires you about this genre of music? Primarily, it's the excitement that you get when you're on stage. It's a kind of inexplicable excitement because it's a kind of journey into the unknown. You've got to be in the moment, you've got to just find your space, you've got to find your voice at that point in time, because I'm also aware that that moment will never come back. What would you say your music expresses? Jazz for me is essentially the music of hope. Jazz is about rediscovering ourselves. Whenever I play, I try to touch people, try to get into their souls, into their minds, and 
at least have some kind of impact. What makes jazz so special? To me, it's about the, the element of swing. You know, jazz is really a language and uh, we've got to develop the vocabulary to express ourselves in this language. I'm going to give you an example. The venue has become a favourite among jazz-loving Durbanites and they can't resist Natalie's siren call. Jazz may not enjoy a high profile on the local music scene, but Natalie doesn't believe in sacrificing artistic integrity for the sake of popularity. And her commitment is paying off. <laughs> 